When the batsman gets the wicket, he needs to take guard. And there are reasons for it. Umfo, what are the reasons for taking guard? Uh, to know where you're off something. Exactly. Okay, Umfo, what guard do you take? Uh, middle stump. Come and show us. It's good. You probably want to come a little bit more this way, don't you, Umfo? That's it, onto middle stump. There we go. Now you ask the umpire for middle stump, nice and clear. Let's see you do it. Uh, center, please, sir. That's correct. Okay, another word for middle is center. Okay, so we're taking guard, that's middle stump. Now, how do you make the mark to know where you're standing, uh, Humpho? Okay, use your spikes, and you make the mark, scratch the mark there. What other way would you use to make a mark? Uh, I can use my bat. Right, okay, so you make a line with your bat. All right, that's very good, okay? Now, Umfo said that he wanted to know where his off stump is. Let's see him get down in the stance. Very good. Let's see if he's got off stump. Let's drop a sinker with my bat, okay, from his chin down towards off stump. How are we doing? It's pretty close, isn't it? Thank you, Umfo. That was great. Come and sit down. Okay, there are other guards that we can take, such as leg stump. As you can see, I'm still holding the bat sideways to cover the leg stump. Middle and leg, where I hold the bat square to the wicket so that it helps the umpire, so that middle and leg covers both stumps there. Okay, so I can take middle stump, which Umfo took, leg stump, or middle leg. Now, why do I take those particular guards? Okay, if I stand on leg stump, it means I'm exposing my wickets, but it gives me freedom to hit the ball on the offside. So I'm a good offside player. If I stand on middle leg, then I'm a greedy player, okay? Because I like to hit on the offside, and I like to hit on the leg side. So I'm a good all-round cricketer. And it's important for you to know that. And I stand on middle stump, I'm probably going to be stronger on my legs than outside off stump. But what Umfo said earlier was it's very important to know where your off stump is because you do not want to be playing at balls that are too wide. A lot of dismissals come from people playing full defensive at wide balls and being caught in the slip. Can I have one leg, please? Yes, sir. Thank you. Hey, Gary, that's interesting. Why do you take one leg? For a few reasons, Bob. The one is um, it's something I've been comfortable doing um, over my career. And I feel it also allows me to know where my off stump is, which I think is very important for a left-hander. Right. Also, I find um, I'm less susceptible to the LBW decision because I'm getting my pad outside the line of leg stump. And generally, for the ball to hit the wicket to the left-hander, it has to be pitched outside leg stump. That's interesting. And do you, do you find it uh, the right arm over bowler that you open your stance slightly in order to cope with that, or do you, do you close yourself off? How yeah, do, I, think, I think for a left-hander, it's very important to open your stance a little bit so you have better vision. And also, the ball coming across your lot allows you to leave a lot more. Okay, that's interesting. Thanks, Gary. Cricket is like all racket and ball sport games, in that when you hold the bat, it's very important that you're able to swing the bat towards the ball in a straight line. Now, therefore, the grip is very important to do so. And, uh, Sebastian, let's see how you hold the bat. Okay, let's stand a little bit. Okay. I want Sebastian to swing that bat along that white line. Okay, ready? Let's do it with one hand at a time. Take the top hand off, Sebastian. Well done. Okay, let's see him swing that bat along that line and see how he does it, okay? Okay, now just see, as he swings, he's leaning backwards. Okay, there's something wrong with his bottom hand grip. Okay, let's take the bottom hand off now and let's use the top hand. Okay, Sebastian, let's swing. Let's bring it up here and swing down. That's it, good, okay? All right, that doesn't look too bad. All right, let's have a look at Sebastian's bottom hand then, okay, and see what the problem is. Right, first of all, let's remember that the bat handle should be an extension of the right arm or the bottom arm, the bottom hand arm. Okay, now let's have a look. Okay, now you'll see that his knuckle is going down the back of the bat. Let's see if Sebastian can swing the bat along the line now a bit better. Okay, let's try. Well done. That's good. Let's get the head forward. Well done. Good. Okay. Now he's beginning to swing that a little bit easier for him. All right. Swing forward. That's it. Good. Okay. Now let's put the top hand on. Okay. Let's see the two working together. Well done. That's it. Just lean forward. Get the head forward. That's it. Get the head forward. That's it. Well done. Okay. Good. No, that's fine. Okay. Now we see. Let's have a look. You've noticed that the bottom hand, the knuckles going down the back of the bat. And let's have a look at the top hand. Okay, to make it simple, let's take the bottom hand off. The top hand, the knuckle formed by the thumb, 
the top of the thumb goes down the same line, the back of the bat. So that's keeping it fairly simple, OK? Let's see how the hands work together. Not too far apart, not too far apart. OK, that's too far apart. I can put a whole hand in there. I don't want that. I want to bring the hands together comfortably so that just two fingers slot in there so it's nice and easy. OK, let's just check the knuckles. Well done, Sebastian. Let's check the knuckles. OK, and let's have a look. You're swinging down that line again. Good. OK, that's a basic grip that will allow you to hit along the line of the ball. Right, we've seen the orthodox grip, and let's see how an international cricketer holds his bat. Uh, Gary, how do you hold your bat? Yeah, Bob, it's something that's obviously very important, and I try not to change too much during the course of a career. But obviously I try to stay in a position where I'm very comfortable, and it allows me to play a full range of strokes. Obviously sometimes, um, especially with juniors, they get their hand too far around, which inhibits them to drive. So, let's just take your gloves off, Gary, and, and, and have a look uh, at, at uh, the position of your knuckles and fingers on the bat. Okay, let's have a look. Right. Okay, we can see Gary's, the back of his hand is, is, is facing out towards cover point, and the thumb of the uh, bottom hand is running down uh, the back of the bat, and, and perhaps that's Gary's grip. He's used, he's used it for a long time, and uh, I think it's very important, as he said, that you must develop a good grip in order to be able to hit all round the wicket. OK, we've learned how to hold a bat. Now we've got to learn how to stand. It's very important that we know how to stand properly, comfortably, before the bowler bowls. And we've got Jackie here who's going to help me. OK, Jackie, let's have a look uh, and let's see how you stand. OK, first of all, let's make sure your feet are parallel to the batting crease and are shoulder width apart. OK, let's check that. Let's check that. Let's check. Give me your bat for a second. Let's check your feet. Nice and parallel. Good. All right, and let's check your knees. Now, nice and parallel coming down the wicket, that's good. And your hips and your shoulder, that's right. Now we need to make sure that all those are going down the wicket. Now, let's take the bat again. Okay, just check your grip, that's it, fine. Now just roll your body forward so that you can put your bat on the ground in a nice, comfortable stance there. Rest your front hand onto the pad and get your head nice and steady looking down the wicket at the bowler. Now, let's have a look at that. Okay, so remember that. 